Guys, I finally did it. I finally got my first pair of Samurai Japan jeans. Some of the best jeans ever made. And they're also the heaviest pair of jeans that I currently own. At 21 ounces, they're just a little bit heavier than the rinse loom states that I have from left field. But they feel completely different. But I do gotta say, I'm a little impartial to them. First, I'll start off with the things that I like about them. And then I'll end off with the things that I'm not necessarily a fan of. So I've been wearing these for about a week now. I just couldn't wait to wear them. And I gotta say, denim over 18 ounces is really fucking crazy. I mean, it feels completely different. It's actually kind of hard to put the buttons through the buttonholes on the fly. It actually feels more like a heavy blanket than a pair of jeans. And it also feels very similar to the Ironheart 25 ounces if you guys have ever tried those out. But even still, these things are pretty cool. These are an unsamphorized one wash denim. And I've been telling you guys a lot how much I love one wash denim. I've been really getting into it and I think it's great for the denim community. Video on that to come soon. But anyways, let's get into what I really like about these jeans. And I'll start off with just the beautiful one wash color. I mean, it has a beautiful gradation in the blues and it has a really, not so hairy texture, but it still has a little bit of fuzz to it. Not as much as the left field uh, loom state denims. Yeah, the fabric on these is pretty cool. You can already see at the hem that these have started to develop a beautiful roping effect just with the factory wash. I didn't even have to wear them for this. These have a beautiful chain stitch in a, almost like a banana color. It's not as thick as the left fields, but it's still pretty cool. Cleanly done. What I did find interesting about these jeans, which I wasn't expecting until I got them, they actually have a little bit of lume in them. So what that is, is it's kind of like a metallic fiber and they wove it into the selvage ID so you actually get a little bit of shine on the red line selvage. That to me was pretty cool. Now these do have an overlocked inseam and you guys know how I feel about that. But to be honest, I feel like for such a heavyweight pair of jeans, this kind of makes sense. I feel like it would be really difficult and really thick to make a flat felt seam on anything that's more than 18 ounces. Now these jeans do come with the five button fly and they do come with, from what I understand, iron samurai buttons. Now the smaller ones are really, really difficult to get in the jeans. And that's really not samurai's fault. That's honestly just how heavyweight denim is. But the buttons and the construction are beautiful. You can kind of see a nice two-tone stitching at the front pockets where the waistband meets. And also, you can see that they have a nice hidden red line selvage with, again, that lume in there. And I really love that metallic kind of look in the red line selvage ID. I've never seen anything like that. Looking at the back patch, you can see made in Osaka, Japan, and they have two samurais dueling. That's supposed to represent something. To be honest, I don't know what it means. And what's interesting with samurai sizing is they run very small. So I actually had to size up one size to ensure that I was gonna get the fit that I was looking for around the waist. So like I said before, always check your size charts. Otherwise, you're gonna waste a lot of money and a lot of time. Belt loops have a beautiful raised seam and they're pretty wide and pretty thick. The only thing that I'm disappointed about is that they're not continuous belt loops. I did know that, however, before I bought these because I could see it in the pictures and I still went for it anyways. I mean, the bar tacking looks pretty solid, so I'm not that concerned about them falling off. Looking at the interior of these jeans, they actually also have hidden back pocket rivets. And I feel like I've been getting spoiled with these because the last four pair of jeans I bought have all had hidden back pocket rivets. And I'm so not used to that. Even some of the most high-end luxury brands don't have those. So that was a nice touch. The pocket bags have a little bit of a pattern to them. I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be, but I think that's pretty cool. You also have the tag with the style number as well as the size number and 21 ounces, 100% cotton. And yeah, overall, the stitching is really cleanly done on the inside. Now the biggest gripe that I do have with these jeans is that they were advertised as a regular straight and I looked at the size charts and some of the details were a little inconsistent so I bought these off of Blue Owl Workshop and I was looking at the size chart on Blue Owl as well as the size chart in Samurai and for the 34 they both had two different measurements 
and a lot of you guys know that I really like a nice wide fit denim now and while these say that they're a regular straight they fit to me more like a slim straight they hug the thigh a little bit much to me and also since the denim is so thick they appear to be slimmer on my body than what I'm really looking for that's purely a personal thing to me I mean it's not make or break and I still like them I'm still gonna wear them but always make sure to check your size charts and if you're looking for a wider fit denim I probably would not go with these to be honest either way they're still pretty cool another thing that kind of disappointed me was the way that the pictures were shot on the samurai website they appeared a lot more blue and a lot more green than what they really came in to be and that to me I really fell in love with that blue color and when they came in I was a little disappointed that they didn't come out the way that I expected them to and I was looking all over the internet for about a week two weeks trying to see if anyone had done a review on these jeans and nobody really did so I wasn't even able to find the color that these jeans were gonna come in but that's fine I took the L for you guys and hopefully this helps you guys out if you were thinking about these or if you're thinking about other samurai products a lot of them are one wash but they don't come out the way that they look on the samurai website so make sure you're cognizant of that when you're buying regardless though it's a beautiful pair of jeans they're really heavy duty and they're really warm in the winter time I mean it was negative 8 in New York last Friday and I wore these and I was perfectly fine but yeah, to anyone that's looking for a wider fit raw denim, this just isn't it. I would probably go with something like the left field uh, smokestack fit, or I would definitely go with the sugar canes, because my sugar canes are my best fitting pair of jeans. They're my favorite. And if you guys didn't see the video on that, make sure to go check that out.